This is Dr. James Wilcox from the Department of Family Medicine. Today we're going to talk about ankle ultrasound. We're going to start with the anterior ankle, looking at the joint, the tendons, dorsalis pedis artery, the ligament and the tarsal bones, looking at the lateral ankle, the ATFL, the fibular tendons, calcaneal fibular ligament, and the fibular spurvis tendon insertion. Then we'll look at the posterior ankle, the Achilles tendon, plantar fascia. First, make sure that your marker dot is always pointing towards the patient's head or the right or long axis with the structure you're looking at. First, we'll look at the anterior ankle joint in long axis. This is the joint space. There's some synovium there, and you can often see um, joint effusions, but they can be small, so make sure you look both medial and lateral throughout the whole ankle joint, looking for any um, joint effusions. You can also dorsal flex the ankle to bring out any joint fluid in that space. Next, we'll look in transverse axis, and we can look at various tendons of the ankle, anterior ankle tendons. Um, we can look at them in short axis, looking for any breaks or synovitis. Um, you can follow them all the way down to their tendinous insertions. We can also look at the dorsalis pedis artery, um, make sure that it is patent, um, especially if you cannot palpate the artery, you can use the ultrasound to find it in the anterior ankle. Next, we'll have our patient <clears throat> invert his ankle, and we'll look at the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, which is right here. It's a common site of high ankle sprain. Next, we will put the probe on the lateral malleolus, and then slowly rotate the probe, the medial side of the probe, more distal until we can see the anterior talofibular ligament, which you can see right here between the talus and the tibia, which is a common site for injury. Next, we'll have our patient um, uh, roll the ankle to the side so we can look at the lateral ankle and we can see the peroneus tendons and short axis here. Then we want to put quite a bit of uh, ankle inversion, and we can make out the calcaneal fibular ligament, which rests right below the fibular tendons on the lateral side of the ankle, another common site of ankle sprains or ankle tears. We can also look at various metatarsal and tarsal bones, both in long axis and in short axis, if there was any clinical indication for fracture. If there was, say, a trauma and there's point tenderness on the midfoot, you can use the ultrasound to identify any cortical disruptions or cortical irregularities, um, signs of midfoot fracture. We can also evaluate the Fifth metatarsal, the proximal metatarsal, is a common site of pathology. Right here is the peroneus brevis tendon as it inserts onto the fifth metatarsal, a common site of avulsion fractures. And you can evaluate the rest of the metatarsal um, as well. Next, we'll have our patient lay flat on their stomach. We will look at the posterior ankle. And in this orientation, we'll see the Achilles tendon right on the calcaneus. And we'll follow that tendon uh, approximately, looking for any signs of tendinopathy, cortical irregula irregularities, uh, thickening of the tendon, or disruption of the tendon. And we'll follow that pretty far approximately into the myotendinous junction. We also want to make sure and evaluate the tendon in short axis. So we'll look transverse at the Achilles tendon here as it comes off the calcaneus. We can wag the probe back and forth and be able to visualize that anisotropy again. And we'll follow that tendon proximally, looking for any disruptions or tears within the Achilles tendon as it transitions to the myotendinous junction. 
finally, we'll take the ultrasound and put it sit on the heel in a longitudinal fashion, looking at the plantar fascia, which comes off of the calcaneus here. We can measure the plantar fascia to determine if there's any thickening and signs of plantar fasciitis and pain and tenderness on the plantar fascia. Thank you very much for watching.